Hi, I'm Chris Brown with BRS North America, and I want to take you through the pursuit. We start with sheets of aluminum. Well, we laser cut it, press break it, and weld it all together. That's from this, this level down, and then the top is one piece fiberglass top cone, one piece molded. In the front, we have storage, jerry can holders and everything inside. You can have four roto packs here. It does have storage on either side as well. We do have uh, lights in the compartments, light everything up. DO35 Cruise Master Coupler, Art Jockey Wheel. We have bash panels on the front that are uh, sacrificial, so if you're off trail and you hit a tree, it doesn't hurt your body damages the, the bash panel and we just can replace it for you. The Pursuit has a galvanized steel chassis, hot dip galvanized. Hot and cold running water port on this side. We also have a suburban uh, tankless water heater. One of the neat features of the Pursuit is the basement for such a small camper. You can actually get a huge basement. We have a basement air conditioner and then your battery management system here. Of course you can put a tremendous amount of gear um, for all different activities in the basement area. The shower actually slides out and then the top folds down, so it's kind of a clamshell looking um, piece. This is actually uh, Zodiac boat material, so it's very tough. We do use uh, 35 inch tires. Um, we use the Cruise Master XT suspension with airbags, so you can uh, raise the height off road and you can also level the coach with the airbags. We have more Roto Pack holder back here or um, wood, wood, uh, wood holders if you want. The spare tires mount into a bracket, just undo these and it just folds right down. So again, this is a 35 inch tire. Backup camera, and of course all your uh, molded cap here on the back. You can see it better from here up is all molded one piece fiberglass cap. Here is all plate aluminum welded. We do have the enclosure. Um, we built that in house. So this gives you an extra room. So you, you more than double your living space, even weather today. So it's paid dividends for us today in the rain. Moving inside, inside the screen room area, of course, all the panels come down to make it uh, private. We even have a skirt to go across the bottom to keep in and, uh, pets if you have some pets. You can actually stake it down and it'll keep them secure in this area. We have an outside kitchen. With the outside kitchen, we have an isotherm refrigerator with a freezer section. We have a slide out food prep area, nice drawer, and a barbecue. Here's where you control the air suspension and you can raise and lower the coach itself. It does have an onboard compressor as you hear and it does have um, air fitting so you can air up the tires on your on your vehicle or on your truck, Jeep, Bronco or on the trailer itself. We also have 110 plugs outside and then we have more USBs here. Hot and cold and water on the outside. Here's your mixing valve. Again, as you can see all the drawers are all welded aluminum. We even have stereo speakers outside. It does come equipped with a power step and a screen door. Um, one neat feature about this product is we have a gold wing door and closes like this. And then just opens like that. You'd have um, amber lights on the inside of the door and on the side wall to keep the bugs down inside uh, the screen room area. Go inside. So on the inside, we have two fridge freezers, um, much like in our shirt, but we have, we use isotherm because they'll get to freezing. So you can have two freezers, two refrigerators, or one of each. There's one here and one here. We do have uh, the control panel for the tankless water heater. We use um, the Truma Vario heat system. And again, we also have the, the basement air. We have two big drawers for folding clothes. So if you have two people, we generally just split them up between two. Nice deep drawers. We also have an optional kit to make this a sofa or a bed. So it sleeps two in the queen bed and you can actually make this into a bed if you want or a sofa. You have a nice rear kitchen. In the kitchen you have a microwave, you have a stove and a four burner cooktop. We also had a stereo DVD player with speakers and a TV that's a smart TV. Plenty of, plenty of food prep area. We use Cymarine uh, monitor system and um, inner drive battery management system. We have a, the innovative shower that you saw on the outside. It's made to where it doesn't intrude on the inside of the coach, but still gives you a shower and, and private toilet. So when you get to where you're going, all that's private. So you can go inside, take a shower or use the bathroom. It does have a toilet. So when you travel, just move that here and then like I said, 
And that's the way it looks when you're going down the road. The shower it does have holes in the floor pan in the pan of the shower that drains the water into a gray holding tank. We have a light in here. We also have a shower holder. We include a rack for shampoo and body wash. And there's your mixing valve. And the cool features about the unit is we actually have a, a 10 inch residential mattress, which is a memory foam Serta Posturpedic, I think this one is. All the windows open inside, so you do have a large stargazer window. All the windows are dual pane and can be opened at any level or reflective shade. You also have good storage on either side of the bed. You have fans to circulate the air, and again, you have air conditioner and heat. That's a brief walk around of the uh, BRS Pursuit. If you're interested and need more uh, information, go to www.brsoffroad.us or you can email us at chris at brsoffroad.us.